Thank you, thank you all very much. Uh, I just called Councilman Cooper to congratulate him on his victory tonight and to offer him my full support as we work towards a smooth transition in the coming weeks. He deserves it. Being your mayor for the last 18 months has been the honor of my life. I got to work with some of the best people I know and I got to lead my hometown, one of America's brightest cities. But more than anything, I'm proud of what we accomplished. In such a short time span, we made progress on so many fronts, launching significant and nationally acclaimed programs like Under One Roof, Nashville Grad, and the Equal Business Opportunity Program. Somebody likes... I signed into law executive orders that do all of the above and that protect victims of domestic violence, support LGBT-owned businesses, increase access to city services for immigrants, and shed light on the HIV epidemic and behavioral health needs in our community. We welcomed more than 10,000 new jobs to Nashville. We balanced a budget that was out of order and gave pay raises to all Metro employees and the largest raise to teachers in more than a decade. And we were ready to do much more. In today's political climate, division is king and queen. <laughs> People are reminded every day of why we are divided. We see it uh, most importantly in our president and it's amplified on social media every single day and in the evening news. Nashville needs to rise above that. With this election behind us, now is the time to come together as a city and tackle our greatest challenges. This year has taught me, frankly, we still have our work cut out for us on several fronts. Our students and teachers are not getting the support they need and deserve. This should, be, this should not be a divisive issue. Crickets all around. <laughs> I guess that's true, I don't know. We can all agree that more of our third graders should be able to read on grade level, that students should want to come to school, and that teachers deserve higher salaries. And we know that all public school parents should be proud of where they send their kids to school every single day. We need to fight for better schools, not fight each other. We also have the challenge to remain a welcoming city to new Americans, to new Nashvilleans. The national rhetoric and some of the conversation on our state level is filled with hate towards people who leave their country to come to ours with or without documentation. And we can't ignore this issue in Nashville. For a while, I think we thought we could. In today's climate, we're more than a blue dot. We're a beacon of hope for people who are looking for a better home. We need to do everything in our power to ensure that refugees have all the care and support that they need. After all, after all, 11 of our valedictorians and salutatorians in MNPS last year didn't speak English when they started in our system. So we know, we know, any student can achieve their fullest potential if he or she feels at home and we provide them with the support they need. Finally, of all the challenges that we face, it is clear to me that our biggest challenge, our biggest obstacle as a city, is to overcome the systemic racism that has plagued our community for many years, for decades. <laughs> While we may hope and believe that the worst of it is behind us, it still exists here today. 
We see it in our schools, in our work lives, and across our city. And it will require serious conversation and sacrifice to make sure that it doesn't affect the way we operate and the way we live our lives as we move forward. These are real challenges. Some of them are specific to Nashville and some aren't. But I have no doubt that we, the city of Nashville, are up to the task. I also know that despite our differences, Council and Cooperman, Councilman Cooper and I both want the same thing, to make Nashville a city that, need, that meets the needs of all its residents. Despite our differences in approach, I have never questioned his commitment to this goal. I want to say again that it has been an honor uh, being your mayor for the last 18 months, your vice mayor before that, and a Metro Councilman before that. I couldn't have done it without the help of so many of you here today. I'd like to thank a few of you specifically. First, I'd like to thank my wife and son, Jody and Sam, behind me. Their sacrifice has, frankly, been unsurpassed. I also want to thank my mother, Janine, and my brother, Rob. They've been here for it all. Um, I have law partners here, and I've been a lawyer through most of this. And I want to thank every lawyer who suffered through my procrastination. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I want to thank my incredible staff in the mayor's office, which <laughs> it's, I'm here. I'll do just a minute. Let me get back to you. Uh, I, my mom is here. I'm not answering the phone. If it were my mom or my wife, I'd answer the phone. Uh, it has to start with Emily Pacini, who's been with me for a long time and has worked so hard. For those of you who have not been around the mayor's office, it's a terrific group of public servants who have been through a lot in the last, I'm going to say, 19 or 20 months, um, but have never given up have never lost their focus on what's important and have worked hard for the city of Nashville and they deserve your, your, your deep, deep gratitude. There are a couple of elected officials here who I, 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 I want to specifically call out. Um, and if I don't see everyone, I, I deeply apologize. But um, uh, Brenda Wynn is a force to be reckoned with in the city of Nashville. If you're looking for a North Star about what's, to do, what's right to do, how you ought to focus your efforts, Brenda Wynn, five minute conversation, you're done, it's over. <laughs> she will get you going in the right direction. Um, Councilman Brett Withers is here in the front row, and Brett is, uh, deserves your, your love. And the risk of not being here is you don't get acknowledged. So for, so for everybody else who, as an elected official, has helped me in the last, uh, in the last decades, I, I, I greatly appreciate um, your, your, your support during that time. I also want to thank uh, Sarah Lingo in particular and the campaign staff for working so hard. I saw Sarah when I walked in. Um, she has been with me as long as Emily has and has worked so hard and sacrificed so much. I, I thank uh, her very much. Um, if you've never worked on a campaign team, um, 
do it once because you will learn what being in the, in the foxhole is all about. So um, the last six weeks have, in many respects, been uh, probably the toughest of my um, political career um, because uh, I knew there was so much that we could do as a city and I wanted so desperately to be able to continue to work for the next four years to do it. Um, I knew it was an uphill battle, but we kept fighting um, as a team to make sure we had the best chance to do it. Um, tonight, I'm here to tell you that uh, I'm committed to making sure that the city continues to move forward. I will do everything I can to help Councilman Cooper as he becomes mayor and as a new council of 40 people um, focus on what's important to our city. And as I've been saying for the last few months, um, we are gonna be prosperous and the real challenge to our city is making sure that more people get a chance to benefit to feel that prosperity. Over the rest of my life here in the city, I will continue to work to make sure that is, uh, is what our city is most focused on. And I thank you all very much for being here tonight and everything you've done for me, for my family, and for the city of Nashville. Thank you very much. <laughs>